This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, why does my mesh sometimes turn out wonky when using the ZModeler Brush QMesh action? So this question was sent along with an image. So here we have the image here, and you can see the user is using the ZModeler Brush to QMesh this part of the model out. And as he's performing this action, you're getting this ripple or wonky effect along the other areas of your model. So why is this happening? So I'm going to go to ZBrush here, and I just have a sample object loaded in, so something similar to what was depicted in the image. And I'm just going to go and select the ZModeler brush. So I'm going to go to the Brush menu over here, or hit B on my keyboard. Then I'm going to isolate by the letter Z, and then I'm going to press M, or simply click on the ZModeler brush. So now with the ZModeler brush selected, I'm just going to hover over one of the polys here in this poly group. I'm going to press Spacebar to open up the ZModeler poly action menu. I'm going to make sure my action is set to QMesh. I'm going to change my target to Polygroup Island. This is only going to affect the Polygroup Island I've selected. And then I'm going to leave everything else as it is. Now I'm going to go back to my model, and I'm going to come across one of the polys on this polygroup here. And I'm just going to click and drag. And this is going to perform that QMesh action. Now you'll notice as I perform this action, it is QMeshing this part of the model out. However, it has distorted the rest of my mesh. So you can see now I have this rippling effect happening. So if I undo this, this is what I had originally, and then when applying that QMesh action, I'm now getting this. So it's distorting or rippling parts of the model. Now this distortion effect is caused by having your model being extremely small when using the QMesh action. If I come over to the tool palette over here and open up the geometry tab, and then go to the size area here, you can see that the XYZ size of this subtool here is 0.02. So that's extremely small inside of ZBrush. So when you perform a QMesh action on a very small model, it does have the potential of distorting the model around it, and that is why you're seeing this rippling effect. So to fix this, you just need to increase the size of the model you're working on. So you can either come over here and adjust the XYZ size by typing this in, or you can even do processes like coming to the Deformation tab and clicking Unify. And when you click Unify, this will resize that model to the ZBrush world. And if you go back to Geometry and look at the size, you can see that its XYZ size should be around 2. So now with this model being bigger, if I come across this poly here and perform this QMesh action, you're going to see that it's not going to distort that part of the model. So if your model is extremely small and you perform a QMesh action, that is how you're going to end up with possibly getting those ripple effects. So just size up the mesh, perform that action again, and then you should see that your model's topology should stay. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!